Hello everyone and in this video we are going to start a new data structure called queues. Okay, so in the previous uh, segment of videos we completed our stack data structure and now it's time for us to look at queues. Okay, so what are queues exactly? So like the stack data structure, queues also basically a linear data structure. Okay, that follows a particular order in which the operations are performed. The order is basically first in and first out, which means that the element that is inserted first in the queue will be the first one to be removed. Okay. So a classic example of queue you can take is a movie theater. Okay. Suppose this is the ticket box and these are the customers. Okay. So suppose ticket box opens at seven and uh, suppose these customers came at 6.30 only, okay. And this is the first customer which came. It came around 6.25, it came around 6.30, it came around 6.35, it came around 6.45. And this box office gets open at 7. So they make a queue here, yeah, right. Now the ticket count, the ticket personnel will first of all give the ticket to the first man which came at 6.30. Then to the second man which came at 6.35 Then to the third man which came to 6.40 And 10 uh, to the fourth man which came at 6.45 Now if another customer have to come Then it will come here at the end of the queue Okay So uh, we can see one thing That One minute Yeah Okay so suppose these is this is a queue. These are the elements of a queue. Okay. Suppose this is the front one, and this is the last one. Okay. So what will happen here exactly is the are if you have to remove an element, it will be done from here, and if you have to insert an element, we'll uh, insert the element from here. Okay, Un unlike stack where we always put the element on top and remove the element from top only. Okay, cool. Now let's look at what are the operations which we basically use on our uh, queue. So mainly there are four operations, basic operations which we perform in a queue. So the first one is NQ. All right. So NQ basically adds an item to the queue. If the queue is full, then it's said to be an overflow condition. So NQ will happen where? In the end. So this insertion in the end is called NQ. NQ always is done at the end of the queue. All right. Now there comes DQ. DQ basically removes an item from the queue. The items are popped in the same order in which they are pushed. Right. So here DQ will happen. Obviously, Right, in the first, the DQ thing will happen. All right. Now, if I say front, front gets the front end item from Q, that is this element, and uh, rear gets us the last element of the Q, which is this element. Okay. Okay, now one thing which uh, basically happens here is we use we implement q using only one method that is array okay i mean we can use a linked list as well but the operation of you know implementing these operations the cost of implementing these operations will be very high because as you know linked list only maintains one pointer yeah. last or either first but now here we have to maintain two pointers that is left and that is uh, friend, so we cannot use a linked list. All right, we cannot use a linked list, but in the array we can obviously use a linked list. All right. So I guess that was all for the introductory video of our linked list, and in the next video we'll talk about uh, queues implementation using arrays. Okay. So thank you for watching this video, and stay tuned for more videos.